Are we getting a new material type for next season? Will there actually be a new gun coming out? Hey guys, it's Kristoff here bringing you news and updates for Fortnite. And in this video, we discovered a couple of big leaks that could potentially lead to some significant changes in season two. However, is this stuff legit or are they just overblown rumors? Let's find out. And with the next season right on the horizon, I wanna know, do you guys have any personal goals for yourselves for competitive Fortnite or just any form of self-improvement? Let me know down below. Keith Allen and I read all the comments, so don't be shy. And before we dive in, just as a reminder, if you guys want to get better at Fortnite, go find your pro coach at proguides.com using the description link below. All right, let's get into the video. Okay, everyone, first up, probably the most exciting news we've heard about next season. A member of the leaking community, Fort Tory, on Twitter recently posted a video showing how the house in the Middle Island is soon going to change. Here, check it out. So as you just saw, a bunch of furniture in the middle house has turned to gold. The couches, the TVs, even the toilets are now solid, shiny gold. And the one thing that stands out the most is that you can't break any of it. Every time he swung at them, nothing would happen. Now, if you wanted to check out the golden toilets in game, sadly, it's not live yet as of writing this video, but since it's in the game files, it means that we're all likely gonna see them pop up soon, probably before the season ends. Still, what's the purpose behind this unbreakable gold furniture? The biggest theory so far is that in season two, we're going to be getting a new golden material type, something stronger than metal that's tough to acquire. Maybe with a special property or a ridiculously large health pool, no one really knows for sure just yet, but listen up to what Ninja, Cypher, and Tim had to say. Have you guys uh, seen the gold uh, like props in some of the lodges that you can't break that recently came up? Mm -mm. Like no. some of the furniture and stuff has turned gold and you can't break them. And people are, are speculating that it might be like a new material that's coming in season two. Unbreakable wall, dude. Imagine, yeah. imagine gold material. Like, wait, wait, I don't understand. How would you, would you be? I'm just gonna sit in a box and gold. Maybe, maybe it's, don't maybe it's like me. a, maybe it's a legendary like drop that you can get maybe from crates and you, you get like 50 gold. Matt, I see a mythic chest. So even some of the big names out there are pumped up for this new golden material. I don't know if it'll be like they say, but there are a bit more clues as to what might be happening. The leaked Oro skin, which looks freaking awesome by the way, is said to possibly play a part in whatever's going to happen in the middle house. Fort Tori draws the comparison to King Midas, a figure in Greek mythology that turned everything he touched into gold. Also, all you Spanish-speaking viewers probably already know, but Oro means gold in Spanish. So with the timing of all of these leaks, there seems to be somewhat of a connection. And while we don't know when or how Oro will be released, many are guessing that it'll be the tier 100 skin for next season's Battle Pass, because I mean, it looks so awesome, I could totally see it fitting. Battle Pass skins don't get leaked often, but it has happened in the past with Durburger 1Z, so it might potentially happen again. Okay, so we don't precisely know what all this gold means, but it's definitely a hint towards something changing. I don't think it'll be as simple as just a new material type with a lot of health or anything, but I could see it being an item that converts material into gold, sort of how King Midas did, and giving it a unique property to shake up gameplay. Whatever the case may be, I want you guys to let me know what you think this golden storyline is all about in the comments. Next up, we might have another leak for you guys. We might be getting a new SMG. The discovery was just made by Spidicey1 on Twitter this Wednesday, who managed to spot a new SMG with uncommon and rare varieties added to the game files. That finding was later corroborated by other leaks, and we now know that it's the Rapid Fire SMG, a small handheld machine gun that resembles an Uzi. Apparently though, this SMG was already leaked way back in Season 7. It was added to the game files back then as well, but never ended up becoming a part of the game. 
Honestly, that's something that happens quite frequently. Although I'd say a majority of the stuff found in game files actually ends up going live, every now and then Epic will add something that never follows through. So is that the case this time again? Honestly, I don't think so. Everyone has been begging Epic to add new content, and right now, there's only one type of SMG in the game. So adding a new one isn't all that far-fetched. Although, I guess that begs the question, does the game need another SMG? The submachine gun in the game right now is already as powerful as it needs to be, especially the purple and the gold ones. They shred through health and builds, and they're just so hard to defend against. Whether or not this would be a healthy addition is up for debate, but I think at this point, most of us would say yes to anything being added into the game, just to have something new to experience. We love hearing your thoughts, guys, so be sure to leave them down below. That's it for me, though. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Kristoff once again. Let us know what you think about this type of content in the future, this short-form news slash leaks videos. And remember to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. That's it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and good luck in your next few games.